simply clean it. After all, I'm gonna do the same with the second one and we're going to install the beauty and then uh, do the coating. Get to the front of the engine, we have intake and exhaust of the solenoids, uh, which they control in the valves and the valve tronic motor gonna be controlling those guys uh, or gonna be controlling the valves after it's uh, going to read the data uh, from those guys. So if they're not working, the valve tronic motor cannot adjust the valves uh, by conditions, which is like cold or hot start, and it's gonna start struggling while the car start running the uh, like circulating oil, and then it's going to adjust. That kind of thing, we're gonna be removing the uh, venous solenoids and gonna be cleaning them. I'm gonna show you how to clean them and what you have to expect after cleaning them. In our case, I removed that, uh, the bar, which is sitting right on the way. So there are gonna be uh, two sockets, which is you simply just unplug them, the top one and the bottom one. Unfortunately, I don't have the compressor or a sold mine, and I'm gonna clean them up as good as possible. We got our 10 mil right here. And we're going to undo the screws. And I'm gonna remove the second one right away. So next step is going to be put some type of towel underneath cause we're gonna have a little bit of oil uh, coming from the inside. And first I'm gonna remove the top one. And yeah, we have decent amount of oil, which is, looks like that and it also have a lot of dirt. We're gonna clean the bottom portion with the O-ring and then going to remove the O-ring and simply wipe it up the whatever stuff is on it. We'll clean it the O-ring. Better to replace the O-ring, but unfortunately I don't have the spare one. So we're gonna put it on the side. I have here a BMW brake cleaner, which is pretty cool, right? And basically we need to clean all of the holes pretty much like every single spot inside of the injector. So as you can see, there's like black stuff coming out from the inside of that. So after we clean it up, the well, you just wanted to try to get all of that stuff out of the inside. And as you can see, there is a bunch of dirt coming out, which is not ideal. So what you wanna do is basically spray it even more brake fluid inside. That was a stupid move. And then, simply wash it out and clean it up. So I think that one is ready to go. You simply have to go through the brake cleaner um, and simply clean it. I'm gonna do the same with the second one and we're going to install the beauty and then uh, do the coating. I cleaned both of those guys. To be sure, I just remember which one goes where, but typically uh, you can insert them anywhere you want. We're still going to reset the Steptronic motor. Uh, I add a little bit of the oil onto the O-ring and clean it up. So it should just slide perfectly nice. You can twist it or spin it and try to push it down. Okay, it slipped right on. That's pretty much it, it's super simple. Second one is a little bit tricky, but as far as you align uh, the sensor itself, it should be just fine. And the bolt here doesn't have to be uh, really tight because it's simply holding uh, the sensor because the engine have uh, the pressure inside and um, it can pop it out if you're not gonna install the bolt. The one cable which is coming from the exhaust manifold goes to the top. 
and the one which is going from the top goes to the bottom and as you can see it's like rounded the way it's only going to be uh, let's get our V number and get into the Istagri or Ista D or Ista plus we get into the Ista plus we go under the operation uh, we get in our win number uh, my version is 4.2 or 40 uh, 402 so I need to put the win number in full sometimes you require only seven last digits and now we'll do it and getting onto the operation checking all of the data about the car we're still not live basically this screen going to show you just basic information uh, in terms of the VIN number you put it on. The next step is going to be start the vehicle test, which is basically uh, app or computer connect to the car itself and we need to start the ignition. Uh, better if you can pop the key or insert the key. KDME, we have nine faulty memory messages, which we're gonna delete them after all. After we successfully connected to the car, the vehicle management, service functions, and engine electric quality control valves and adjustments. No, not the hold on. Yes, adjustments. And that's gonna be a learning valve tronic limited position, which is gonna be ABL function or the type. The ABL gonna be the active uh, function, which is you can trigger. And that's what we're gonna do with the a learning valve tronic limit position. So as far as we're gonna open it up, uh, it's gonna load the first screen and then gonna say like blah, blah, blah. If you replace it or if you have some problems, you definitely wanna read that stuff. I know what is going on with that stuff. Switch terminal 15 on, uh, which is our ignition. If some of you didn't know, uh, you go into the position two or terminal 15. You just got to light up the ignition. Uh, everything should be working. The electricity got to be passing through. And then we press the continue and the stops are learned the next test step. So uh, in the next test step, you're going to hear some noise coming from the engine bay. Okay, good. It was really fast. And uh, uh, limitation position successfully learned. The end test uh, module press right arrow. So we don't need that. And we just press and continue. Uh, in uh, Fault code 2A46 was entered. Clear fault code memory. After that, you go ahead to the vehicle information. You go to the control tree. Uh, display fault to memory. Then delete fault to memory. That's what I'm going to do now. And that's going to press yes. And wait. Turn off the terminal 15 of the car pop on uh, the key it's not necessary but i like inserting the key into the car while i'm doing something uh with the car and now we press cancel and we start vehicle test again because we need to try to connect with the car sorry for a gunk Hope the F FRM unit not gonna have the same problem. And CCC unit is working right now. So it was just uh, some type of miscommunication with the car. Okay, faulty memory display, faulty memory, rear fog light right faulty. I just gotta check it out. Anyway, guys, if you like the video, please put the thumbs up button there, subscribe my channel, and leave me a comment below. I'll see you next one. Actually, for more videos, hit me up, comment below, and ask what you want to see or if you want to see some type of reset. N52, S65, and N54 engines are available, so we can do any type of uh, test or whatever on those engines. And you are welcome to hit me up, comment below, and ask your question about the ESTA or INPA or some other tools.